Okay, welcome back. We are building our first box today. Uh, this is our, our brood box. Um, you'll have several of these on the hive, typically. Um, and they hold the frames that go inside that the bees will build foundation on. Um, so right now I've just, uh, you know, dry assembled this without any glue or nails just to make sure everything fits up properly. There's box joints along here on the side that fit together, so um, you'll see how, how everything kind of fits nicely. You might want to just do this ahead of time, make sure that um, everything fits before you start gluing it. So um, I'm going to take this apart for right now and show you some of the components here. Um, One side is longer than the other. Uh, these are nine and nine and five eighths uh, standard boxes. These are these are known as standard boxes or, or deep boxes. Um, typical height of those is nine and five eighths inch. Um, you notice there's a, a slight ridge on the shorter ends, uh, and those are where the frames are going to rest. On top of those, typically you want to put a metal frame rest and what that does is it allows uh, it's just a little bit a little bit of protection when you're using your hive tool and 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 you're scraping along here uh, you're not damaging the wood your boxes will last longer and uh, it's just good so the important thing is you probably want to put these on ahead of time they're going to be a little bit more difficult to put on once uh, everything's nailed together so uh, included with the kit are three quarter inch nails and uh, those should hopefully come with your with your uh, frame rests and on these specific ones there's five five holes so I'm going to just start by nailing in, uh, nailing in these frame rests Okay, um, so that's one, both sides now with frame rests, and that's just going to help make your make your boxes last longer, which is important because you don't want to be replacing your boxes every year. Um, so now we have our, our side pieces, and what I'm going to do. So notice each one has a, uh, has a handle on it, and that's for lifting the boxes. Um, so you want to make sure that those are facing out always. And they'll just fit together like that. Okay, I skipped ahead and uh, reassembled the box. Now the, the frame rests are in. And uh, the reason I did this is just so that we have some structure when we when we start nailing. So um, I'll just show you here what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll just loosen this end up, and I'm going to throw some glue uh, into uh, the joints here, and that is just going to make sure that our hive lasts a long time, uh, and and that it's um, solid for years to come. You want to put a little bit of glue in every joint, um, not too much, not too little, and you can spread it around with your finger or something, and uh, you just want to do this before assembling and nailing. Make sure you have strong joints. Okay, so now that that's um, attached, just wipe off my hands and. Uh, now that that's attached, you want to push everything together, make sure everything's tight, and most importantly, you just want to take a square and make sure as you're doing this the whole time, 
that everything's nice and square. That way, um, you're not going to have any problems with your frames later on, and we're looking good. So I like to start by just driving a nail, um, one in this end, and I'm using two inch galvanized nails. These came uh, with, the, with the hive kit, and uh, there's, pre, there's, uh, there's holes pre-drilled that um, I'm just nailing through. So there's really no guesswork in this. You just follow the holes that are laid out and you should be fine. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to uh, just check that everything's square one more time on this side. And I'm going to drive two more nails in. So now that that's done on this first corner, um, I'm going to do the same thing on the rest of the corners and once they're all done and all square, then I'll come back and I'll fill in the remaining holes with, uh, with the rest of the nails. So I will skip forward to that. And now all the sides are done. Um, and I'm just putting in the last row of nails here. And everything's nice and square. And really, that's all there is to it. So there we have it. Here's our, uh, our box, nice nice and sturdy. Um, we have our frame rests here. And the frames will rest right on top of there. Ten frames will go on this box. And um, the last step that I probably won't show on this video is that all these outside surfaces can be primed and painted um, usually in a light color such as white. Um, you can prime it with like a water-based acrylic latex um, and you only want to do the outside, not the inside, anywhere that the bees are going to go um, and, and that's it. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the video and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.